Well, I guess it's time to get this pen series underway. And uh, I'm going to start out with a stick pen. Now, actually, about two months ago, I made that slim pen and pencil set for the neighbor lady. And I have made other, other sets, but uh, not that I put on YouTube. Now, I've got a tiny problem going on here. And that is that I'm supposed to drill a quarter inch hole in the piece of wood that I'm going to be using. And, be, and a stick pen calls for a hole that is actually that long or maybe a little longer. So the closest bit that I've got that's that size is a seven millimeter. That's just slightly bigger than a quarter inch. So I'm going to just test it out first. I have extra uh, little brass tubes and I'm going to sacrifice one of them just to see if it, the sub seven millimeter will, will work okay. Uh, it could be that I'm going to have to postpone this episode and run to the hardware store and try and find an extra long bit. Anyway, here we go. Well, it's the next day and a couple of things have happened. First of all, I discovered that I do not have extras of these. I got extras of these. These are for the slimline pen set. But uh, yeah, these are just a little bit bigger than these tubes. So I'm not going to be able to experiment around. Second thing is, I went out this morning and I bought a longer quarter inch bit. Now this isn't exactly the kind I wanted, but this is all I could find. I had wanted one with a brad point like this. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll use this quarter inch bit to go most of the way into the work and then I'll finish off with this longer one. I think that this bit will probably have a tendency to drill a lot more true. Anyway, that's my opinion. Now I'm a Canadian and I like to buy Canadian if I can. And fortunately for me, there's an outfit called Lee Valley and they have a pretty good stock of pen supplies and if you're into pen turning and turning in general. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is at the end of each one of these episodes, I'm going to put a link in the comments where you can actually get this particular kit. Now, of course, if you live in another part of the world, you're going to have other places that are going to do the same thing. Now, you'll notice that Lee Valley said that this is an easy pen to turn, or they think it's the simplest pen to turn. Well, that's their opinion. I don't think it's the simplest because you have to drill that extra long hole. But once again, that's just my opinion. That seems to be nice and true. At least it didn't get bent in the store. Now I realize it's a shame to cut this beautiful piece of mahogany. But I guess there's more where this came from. But they tell me not that much more. Anyway, what I want to do is I want the pen to be not solid mahogany. I want the ends to be mahogany, but the center I want to have aspen, just to contrast. And I've got this piece of scrap, and what I'm going to do is uh, cut maybe an inch and insert it. So it'll be mahogany, aspen, and mahogany. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here you can see the bare pen parts. And I'm going to have to drill a hole about four and a quarter inches long in the blank that I'm going to make up. And if that blank is made up of three pieces of wood, two mahogany, and one aspen, and if I glue those pieces of wood together end to end, and then round them off, I think it's going to look pretty nice. Now you can't help but notice that it's a lot longer than it has to be. But this piece here, this is where the, the top of the pen will be, the nib will be down here. Now I have to have it longer so that I can grab hold of it with the chuck in the lathe. You'll see.
Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to get four pieces out of this or not. Be nice if I could. Now that little spring is going to add about another, oh, that much, once it's compressed. So that means that the hole has to go back to about here. So I can move this blank in on the chuck a little bit more. So that should do it. Now I don't want to make the mistake of going too deep. I'll just lock it in place right there. And I can always go deeper if I have to later. But uh got a feeling that's going to be just about right. Well, maybe just a little bit more. I will try that. Well, as you can see, that short bit was just maybe three quarters of an inch too short. So I don't have to go a whole lot with this one. Now, if you're wondering how fast the lathe was turning, that's it. I'm feeling a tiny bit depressed right now. The reason being is, well, I've got two mandrels here for turning pens. A small one and a big one. And I thought the small one would fit the hardware that came with this uh, stick pen kit. But it turns out that you need even a smaller mandrel yet. It's what Lee Valley calls the threaded mandrel. Well, this was a threaded mandrel. I thought this would do it. Turns out it doesn't. So I'm pretty well at a standstill right now until I get the proper mandrel. I've been hoping that I could go through my junk nuts and bolts and find a, a bolt that was the right size and thread, but this is a real oddball size. I could probably figure out what it is, but I know I don't have anything that'll fit it, so what's the use, right? So, this uh, series, or at least this episode, is going to be on hold until I get that threaded mandrel. Sorry about that. Now I know that I had said that each one of these different pens was going to be one episode each. But because of the problems I've run into with this pen, I'm sorry, but this one is going to have to have a part two. Once again, sorry about that. <laughs>